Good evening, everybody. 大家晚上好。我其实有准备了一份华文稿，但是太长，因为时间的关系。对，呃，如果有兴趣的话，上我的网站，我会放在我的网站。I actually prepared a very long speech in Chinese, but、uh, I see that、uh, we have a fellows、uh, Malays, Indians, Singaporeans. I shall do a direct translation from now. Now, just now I was sitting there. I was listening to. The colleagues speaking for ninety minutes about the five values and all that. It just frightened me. If you think that ninety minutes only comes out with these five values, only for this、uh, this presidential election, that is not true. I'll tell you a story. We are here today because partly of me. Because three years ago, I approached Mr. Tan Kin Lian. I said, Mr. Tan, I have read what you have written on the Straits Times forum, what you have written on your blog, and in press. Can you be our president? Why I chose Mr. Tan Kim Lim? Because I, as opposition members, I feel that we need an independent president to effectively carry out the checks and balances for our political system. Mr. Tan Kim Lim said he has some reserves, reservations because the family may not agree and all that. So he has to go back and、uh, check it out, talk to the family. But on that spot, he said, "May I say, since you are here, I want to share with you my five five values. The values that Mr. Tan Kim Lim holds is not only for this presidential election." I was quite taken back. I come to a man to talk about presidential election. He tell me his five values. I listen and I agree with the five values. But deep right in me, I thought this man maybe just want to talk about his values only. I did not know that he would carry out his values. Just about three months later. The mini bond crisis came about. He is the man who walk the talk. We feel that that is not fair. That is one of his values, and there is no there is dishonesty in the mini bond sales. And he has to take the courage to provide the public service to help the mini bond people, the victims. Then, then, I realize that this man doesn't just talk about his values. He carries out what he believes in. Well, Mr. Tan, I approach a lot of people to help to translate into Chinese to speak out. Most of them are the ex-PAP colleagues, but they all rejected him. So he called me up. I say, Ming Sen, can you do me a favor? Do a translation of the speech. Hey,、right? of course. How can I actually say no to him? And that's the long way to come to our passion. In Chinese, they say "san gu mao lu." Right. I talked to him first. He said he had reservations. And after the bomb, after the mini bomb issues, I talked to her, him again. Would you want to try, really try, to go for presidency? He said, "I want to test out the support level of the people." But the response is not as what we think it should be. Therefore, that is put aside. And when the president, after the P two zero one one, I talked to him again three times. Finally. My great thanks to Mrs. Tan Kim Lim. With her support, Mr. Tan has decided to take up the challenge. Thank you, Mrs. Kim Lim. Now, this is a very exciting election, presidential election ever.、Right? Although you can see that we are, we do not have many people down here. But Mr. Tan Kim Lim doesn't have the support of a party machinery, no grassroots machinery. It is truly is independent. 
Even as an opposition, I do not stand here as an opposition member. I stand here, first and foremost, a Singaporean who believes that we need to do justice to the presidency, who believes that Mr. Tan Kim Lian is the best choice to be the president of Singapore. That's why I have to fly back to stand here tonight. Now, there are a lot of rumors in the internet, right? Both about Tan Ji Se, Tan Ki Lian. Tan Ji Se said uh, he spoke performance, blah, blah, blah. You know, why uh, Mr. Tan Ki Lian uh, was uh, asked to leave NTUC income, blah, blah, blah. But please, do not believe in such rumors. Because these people hide behind the keyboard and start to write away. Write all, all, all sort of rubbish. I am an experience, I have experienced injustice. People say I have what, um, what marital affairs. My wife laughs after she got stomachache. Right? Because she knows me well. I am not the kind of man. Right? Please do not believe all those rumors that's going around. If you if I can stand here and criticize each and every candidate, the other three candidates, it is all based on facts. I'm going to do it now. Dr. Tony Tan. No, 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 please don't go. He must know why he's being booed in the first place. There are three reasons I'm not going to, 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 to support him. Basically, as I spoken, it's too close to PAP. The other reason, because he's a GIC chairman, he has been making decisions, investment decisions for GIC. Imagine if he becomes a president and GIC start to lose money due to his past decisions, how could he protect himself? This is what I call the conflict of interest. <coughs> Maybe, maybe he doesn't feel that way. But this is his, what I see in him. When he invested in those lemons, I, I, I would say lemons, financial institutions, banks, back in 2008, and lose, and lost quite a lot of money. One, in one of the press conferences, he said, I will invest again in any banks, in, look for any opportunities in investing these banks if they are such opportunities. Never mind whether we recover the losses or we make losses. But as the GIC chairman managing the National Reserve, you are actually investing in portfolio which are very risky. Right? Is that the way we should manage our reserve? And if he becomes the president, could he actually Continue to allow GIC to make such risky portfolio investment. This is something we have to think about. So to me, he is not suitable to be the our president. Yeah. Now, the third point, come back to his son's deferment, 12 years of deferment. Well, the, the, the Ministry of Defense have come out and said there's no preferential treatment and all that blah blah blah. Right? Do you believe it? Oh. Never mind whether you believe it. PFP believe it. Right? However, the problem doesn't lie. Even we believe that to Dr. Tony Tan at the time as a uh, defense minister did not ask the Saudinates to, pro to give such privileges of a 12 years of deferment to his son. Well, as a defense minister, would you, with due diligence, try to avoid such perception in the first place? I will tell you a story in Taiwan. How Bo Chun, he was a proud defense minister at some time. And when many sons go for the national service, he told his son, don't put my name when you register for national service because I do not want you to have preferential treatment in, in care. That is the spirit. That is the real leadership as a defense minister. But in Singapore, what we do, we scared nobody knows. 
or what it costs black costs. Or put on the tap. How can you avoid people not giving preference special treatment to your son? So I will say, with this record, anyway, how Bochun's son is actually how how Long Ping are now the uh, city mayor of Taipei. Right? That is the kind of integrity they want for their son. Nobody can pinpoint him and say that, oh, you skip, you have a special treatment during your national service. That is the spirit of a true leadership. Lee Kuan Yew has said before, if you want to test a man's character, just give him power. We have to think of himself, what type of character we have. Talking about Tan Chen Bok, Dr. Tan Chen Bok, I actually do not know him well until he said that pledging part of the salaries, presidential salaries for charity is like a vote by I was shocked. Do you agree? No, uh, no right? Oh. I would want to tell him, PAP have been using public money for HDB upgrading as a carrot during the general elections. Isn't that vote buying? Yes. Why where are you where are your principles then then and you still stand under PAP panel for general election? This is the type of criticism I will give it to you. Now, talking about Tan Ji Seng, my heart sank. I am an opposition, he is an opposition. I am a harmonist, he is a harmonist. One of my harmonist clients, man, actually scolded me. You betrayed your old clients, man. But I have to tell him, I am first and foremost a Singaporean. I will have to decide what is the best for Singapore in order to support the best candidate to suit the job. That's Mr. Tan Kim. Tan Ji said, true and true, is a good opposition member. He can be a good opposition MP. If he asks me next time round during the January election to stand on the stage, on his ready stage, and endorse him, I will. If he asks me to stand with him and contest a uh, GRC, I would consider. But not for a presidential election. Because he will bring confrontation, confrontation to the system. And that is not good for the system. With that, I will say both for Mr. Tanki. Thank you. Now, we have a very special speaker. You would not have seen this person much speaking, but first time on stage, we have Mrs. Tan. Please give a round of applause. She's going to talk in, in Mandarin. Mrs. Tan Pinyet. <laughs> 